Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest Road to Gullman video. So the model for this week was to paint up a cipher. Now this guy was part of the set that came with Robo Gullman. There was Robo Gullman, there was Cypher and there was some Grey Knights guy off the top of my head. I can't remember. Valdis, I think something like that was his name. But this came in a part to say with that. I'm pretty sure you can get these guys all separate now. Um, but this guy looks like he was part of the Dark Angels. He has the Dark Angels insignia on the back of his sword. And he has the kind of the Dark Angels colours. So I didn't want to do a Dark Angels colour. I wanted this guy. I didn't want him to be Cypher. I wanted this guy to be part of my Ultramarine army. So I kind of, I didn't go with the full Ultramarine colour as you can see. I went with a grey. And just kind of like a little tribute to the Ultramarines on his shoulder pad then as well. So let's start with the armor color that I used. After seeing a couple of videos around, I've seen gray armor. And this was literally thought of at the last second. So it's something I'd like to try again. I'm not too happy with how this turned out. So it's something I'm going to try in the future a little bit more. Get a little bit more prepared at it. So I started off with Mechanicus Standard Gray. Which is a really good gray color all over the armor. Then with a wash of Null and Oil. As usual with any armor. Just in the recesses. And then a highlight color of Dawn. So not in all the most prominent parts of the armor. The parts sticking out the most. Just to bring the armor to make it pop a little bit more. And let it come to life. The green cloak, now this was the only little part that I wanted it to kind of play back to where this model is from with the Dark Angel. So I went with a green cloak, I started off with a wog flesh all over, give it that kind of dark green colour on it. And then I went over it with an Agrax or shed just in the recesses, so any kind of the deeper part of the robes. And any kind of little holes in it was done with Agrax or shed. And then with the new pa newest paint that I got. Uh, Ogron camo on the highlights of all the little holes and on the highest parts of the robe and the edges as well Just to make it stick out a little bit more so onto the metal parts now for the silver There's like the gun there's parts of the backpack There's kind of like little parts all over the model for the silver and as usual that was done with lead belcher Null and oil wash all over and then stormhole silver highlight It's a really good combination and there's no reason to kind of change it now uh, For the gold it was the usual as well Retributor Armor, Agrax Earthshed and Liberator Gold. That's done mostly on the decorative parts of the sword and kind of the ammo, uh, the bullets on his gun as well. The face, even though there is very little of the face, uh, I started off with Bugman's Glow, um, shaded then with Reichlin Flesh Shade and then a highlight of Cadian Flesh on over that. The brown, which was, there was kind of like a few bits of brown. There's a bit on the back of the sword. There's kind of like straps on him and the gun and parts of his arm as well. That was done with more and fine brown and then with an Agrax or shed, uh, shed into all that. I didn't highlight that. I wanted the, the brown to say really dark. So it was just the two colours for that. Now the red, I really wanted the red to pop really nice. I wanted to go from like really dark to really nice to make that handle of the sword stick out a little bit more. So I started with the corn red. I usually go with... Um, Mephiston red, that's the colour But I went with corn red this time just to see what it'll turn out like um, As usual, Agrax Earthshed then in the recesses of that And then highlighted the most prominent parts with uh, Red Suns Or Evil Suns Scarlet And it pops so much I'm really happy how the handle of the sword turned out I really like it um, And then finally The only white parts of the model Which is on the back You have like the wings of the Dark Angel insignia on the back And there's kind of the skulls, that's what it was. Another part was the skulls. So, still not too sure how to kind of get the most out of the white colour. I kept it really easy. I went with Celestia Grey with a very light, I think I started off light with Negrax Earthshade uh, on the skulls and just in the recesses of the wings. And then I just tidied it up with any Celestia Grey on the most prominent parts. Um, until I find a better way of making the bright white come about a bit easier i'm just not too sure about it yet so that was it for the model it took me a while to get this done because you know time crunch college everything but i'm happy how it turned out i would like to redo the, this type of armor the gray armor again and, and i like the, how the gray armor looks um, on other models so i'm just going to try and work at that a little bit more for the future and try and do another grey based armour uh, model as well. So let me know what you guys think of the Cypher model. I'm happy how he turned out in general. I like the cloak. Um, oh, the armour part on his shoulder. That was done with McCraig Blue. Uh, Agrax Earthshed highlight. Or Agrax Earthshed wash. In the recesses part connecting to the other part of the shoulder pad. And then uh, Calgar Blue highlight. I very quickly just said that because I forgot. I just spot him here in the corner of my eye. That was the little throwback to the Ultramarine colours that I wanted him to have. 
um, or the little connection to the ultramarines. So it's just a little bit to make it stick out a little bit more. I think it, it suits it just as much as well, Lane. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're long, leave a comment below. Make sure to do that. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.